so YouTube has changed their YouTube Studio Live dashboard yet again, and I wanted to cover primarily some of the changes and some of the settings in a little more depth for as far as the stream key settings, because I do have another video that covers, you know, general overall, you know, set up a YouTube stream from beginning to end, ways you can balance quality. But in this video, I want to actually focus on how important it is that YouTube knows what to expect, what you're sending to, because I do see several people that say, oh, well, I'm sending, you know, 50,000 bit rate or something like that. And it's for live streaming, that is overkill, unless you're doing 4K 60. And this actually gonna cause you more trouble than help. So let's go ahead and begin. So you'll log into your, your go live dashboard. And from here, you'll schedule a stream. You should already have a set. You can go to any one of them, click on it. And here's the section we're worried about right here. So we're going to go ahead and create a new stream key just so we can look at this and what's changed. You can name it whatever. You can name it main stream key if you want, whatever you want to name it. Description optional. You don't have to do that. So now we have a drop down box. What you want is RTMP. So HLS Advance, just think of HLS Advance as like huge production, you know, multi streaming setup like if somebody's like some big studio is you know now some big game or something they're not really going to be interacting with chat but they want the highest fidelity they're going to use hls there's going to be very few if any cases where we're going to want to use hls because once you get all that set up which is has some pretty advanced settings to play with once you get all that set up and if you get it all set up perfectly you're you're going to be looking at at least 30 seconds or more of latency between that and your chat and stuff. So it, it doesn't make it very practical for that. So we're definitely going to do RTMP still. What you want to do is you want to turn on manual settings. So we're going to check that box and go with YouTube's recommendations. So which, which are you going to be sending? I recommend 1440p for reasons we had discussed in another video, 1440p at the time this video was made guarantees you vp9 that is one way to get vp9 which will give you much better quality so go ahead and select 1440p if you're capable of doing 4k you have a rig that can handle that you can play with that 1440p the recommended rate look look at the range here and this changes sometimes i've noticed so 1440p 6 to 13 megabit and then be sure you turn on 60 FPS option because if you do not and you're sending 60 FPS, it's going to look like trash. <laughs> That's just how it works. So if you do that, you check that box, you go ahead and create this and I'm not going to create it, but because I've already have one, but you'll create that and you'll just make sure you have that selected in your drop down box. Now in your OBS streaming software, you'll just make sure that you are using that stream key that you just created here. Now, whenever you go to your stream settings, what you're going to want to do, if you're having trouble, you got plenty of bandwidth, I would go and you're doing 1440p, I would go ahead and set that bit rate to 13,000 and play with it there. Then that'll be in this box right here. You go to settings, output, and then bit rate. And you'll make sure you set that to um, 13,000, 1440p. Keyframe interval to max B frames to another thing. If you haven't already seen this, here is where in the video section, you'll do your output scale to 2560 by 1440. If you game at 18 at 1080p, if you don't game it, if you already game at 1440p, you won't have to worry about this section. And then you're done and go ahead and set a live stream. Now, the other thing you'll want to look at in the dashboard, make sure you're doing, for this case, if you want better quality, make sure you're doing low latency. You can do normal latency and get even better quality, but if you do normal latency, you're back to looking at close to 30 seconds or so of latency, even though you'll have a much better looking stream. So if you're someone that's wanting to interact with chat, you're probably, that's not really going to be very viable for you. Low latency on average, from what I see, Good streams would be about eight seconds, sometimes less if you're lucky. Optimal conditions I have had as low as five seconds latency with low latency. 
I may do another video la later because what I'm doing right now is I'm playing with ultra low latency with my streams for even better chatting activity, but I won't cover that here. So make sure you match up with low latency. All right. I hope these settings help you. YouTube's always changing things because they're, they are constantly overhauling and it really feels like they're, they're really going after Twitch this year, potentially, because they seem to be focusing a lot more on the live stream settings. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I also stream on Classic Caleb Streams. It's a separate channel. If you just want to pop in sometime and see what I'm playing, and we can talk about streaming or whatever we want to talk about. If you have any questions, help you out. I have a Discord. There's more information across the board at ClassicCaleb.pro. I hope this has been helpful.